Hello, welcome to another video in Music Theory Basics. In this video, you're going to learn to read the BDFA notes between the legend lines by using a silly phrase that, you know, helps remember the notes easily, all right? In the last video, which you will find in the description if you click on it, um, I taught you how to read the notes that are on the ledger lines. So now we're going to learn the notes that are in the spaces or between the ledger lines. All right. So if you don't know how to read the bass clef, don't do this video now. Go to my first video on how to read the bass clef notes, which is linked in the description. So click on it and get to it quickly and then come back to this video. All right, so let's begin. We're going to start with the note above the staff, okay? So right off the bat, we're going with space notes. So this is the B note. We talked about it in previous videos, all right? So since the B is on top of, the, of a line, which is, of course, on top of the staff, that means that it is in a space. And I showed you guys why with the imaginary lines and blah, blah, blah. So we're going to create legend lines for the next three lines above B. In order to create legend lines, we are going to actually turn on our imagination and imagine that above B, the staff that you see below the note B is going to extend forever. Are you ready? Bam. So look at these dotted lines. They represent your imagination imagining that these uh the staff lines go on forever correct good so now we're going to draw uh the next three notes in the spaces so for that i'm going to need three more uh spaces so that means three more legend lines so i'm going to draw uh the line above which we're going to place the first line the first note and so it has to extend because then we're going to place a second note on us in a space and then a third note in a space. Okay, so now we're going to draw our notes once we've drawn our ledger lines. And remember, you can follow along by printing the free printable sheet music or staff paper that I placed in the description so that you can draw your ledger lines, draw your notes, draw your bass clef, and practice all of these um, all of these notes that we're learning today. Okay, so let's draw our notes. Bam, bam, bam. Good. Now you can turn off your imagination because you don't need the imaginary ledger lines anymore. And we're left with real ledger lines, meaning that these are the ledger lines that you would find on your uh, sheet music. You know, if you're trying to read something. Now, since we are starting with the B. We're simply going to use bears don't fear anything. This is the phrase that we're going to use. Okay, so let's say it. Bears don't fear anything. We're going to say this from the bottom up. Each note is going to represent a word and each word goes inside the space. Each note is in the space. So let's check it out. B for bears, D for don't, F for fear, and A for anything. So let's give it a try. If I want to know the name of this note, I'm going to say the phrase, bears don't fear anything, and I'm going to stop as soon as I reach the note. All right, this is all a mental thing. Let's go. Bears don't fear anything. Okay, so since I got to the end of the phrase, which is anything, anything starts with A. Therefore, the note is an A. Next, we're going to go with bears b okay that's easy what about this one bears don't fear Shh, you stop right there because that's where the note is so this note starts with an f because fear starts with an f the name is f there you go next note beers don't this so not beers sorry bears bears don't so d for don't this note is a d all right that's easy. If you want to practice that, I have also placed a quiz in the description. There's a link. 
to practice these notes that are in the spaces uh, outside of the staff on the ledger lines. All right, now let's check out the most common notes below the staff. Here we go. Our lowest note below the staff, or that is actually still on the staff, um, which uh, is touching the staff is the F note, right? Because it's below G. G note is the one that's on the line, on the first line at the bottom. All right, so we're going to turn back the imagination and let's see, bam, there it is, the imaginary lines. Again, we're going to draw the next three ledger lines or the next three notes, right? One, two, three, one, two, and there you go. Then go ahead and you can draw your notes. So now we have our notes. Great. Now, since we have the ledger lines already, we don't need the imaginary lines. So we do away with them and there we have it. Now, our bear has decided to go out at night and he is scary. So we should fear drunk bears growling. Remember? Bears don't fear anything. Well, you should fear drunk bears growling. That's what I came up with. Yeah. All right. So what does that mean? We're going to say uh, fear drunk bears growling, counting from top to bottom this time. All right. So let's see. Fear drunk bears growling. That note is a G. Let's see. Fear drunk we stop there because the note is there. So that note is a D. Fear drunk bears. Okay, that is a B note. And F, right, for fear. Okay, so that should have been uh, not too difficult. And let's see if you understood. I have also placed a quiz with the lower notes in the description. So the, the notes that we just did so that you can practice. So go ahead and practice those notes. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any requests, of course, send me a little message. And if you have better phrases than what I came up with, please do uh, share with me because if I can make it make more sense, why not, right? All right, there you have it. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Study hard and I'll see you on the next one.